Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So continuing with our topic on test automation obstacles with Trascentis Tosca, let's look at our next obstacle, which is called halfway. Now, this is a pretty simple obstacle if you know how to um, steer this particular control. So here uh, we need to click in the right half of the button. So it's quite a long button. And here we need to click it on the right half of this. Okay, so if I click it here, you will see that uh, the automation obstacle is completed. If I click here, then nothing will happen. Okay, so this is what uh, we need to do. Now, in order to do this, we need to use uh, something called offset for the click operation. So what this particular offset is, right? So uh, we can uh, define offsets for two types of click operations, okay? And uh, these are for the click method and also for the long click method. Okay, so uh, we know already uh, what the click operation does. The long click uh, using this particular uh, operation, you can basically click with your left mouse click and it will remain for at least two seconds. Okay, so if you want um, to click on a button for a longer amount of time, then you can use this long click. And then we can also define offset for both of this click operations for clicking and also long clicking, right? Now this offset uh, syntax, how you can do this is uh, you need to first right click, okay? And then you need to mention uh, either the offset horizontal or offset vertical, okay? So this is basically uh, a offset position either in your horizontal axis or in the vertical axis, okay? So this is how the syntax looks like. Now, um, how can we uh, basically use this here, right? So since we have to uh, click on the right-hand side of this particular button, we can provide um, either uh, an offset in terms of pixels, okay? Or uh, we can also provide it in uh, terms of percentage, okay? So in this case, uh, we will go ahead and uh, we will try to use um, percentage so that we can click on the right half of this particular button. So let's see how we can do this in Tosca. Okay, so uh, first let's create our module here. So we'll scan the module as usual. We'll go to obstacles folder and go to scan application. So here I just need to uh, scan this particular control, which is the button itself. And then um, I am going to close this and save this module. Okay, um, so now uh, we can create our test case to automate this particular step. So uh, we will create a new test case here. And then uh, I'm going to add that particular module right here. Okay, as I said, uh, it's a pretty simple one. Um, we just need to make sure that we are using the offset here, okay, instead of simple click operation. So here uh, we are going to write the expression. Uh, as I said, we have to use the click operation, but then inside this, uh, we need to mention the offset. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mention something like 90%. Okay, so uh, what it will do is uh, it will try to uh, click on the right hand side of uh, the button. Okay, to complete this particular obstacle. So let's go ahead and mark it as completed. And then um, let's go ahead and try to run this. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it is trying to click on the 
uh, right hand corner of this particular button, which will be like a uh, percentage of uh, the complete area of the button. And I am clicking on the 90 percentage, which is more on the right hand side. If you want to click on the left hand side, then it will be more of uh, in the range of 10 to 50 percentage. And if you want to just click on the center, then you can directly use uh, the normal click operation. It will be enough to click on that particular button. So the same offset operation can also be applied to the long click method. Uh, these are for buttons where you have problems clicking on it or it takes more time to click on those particular buttons or you have to click on a particular position of any particular uh, button or a link, right? So this is how you can uh, use the offset uh, position on your click operations to solve this particular automation problem. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.